some stuff out in a new kind of space. I'm sorry for my neighbors if you can hear them stomping around. Um, this is my new desk setup, and I put some of my nail polish up on the wall and some decorations. It's not finished, but um, just what I have. I'm gonna do a desk tour here soon. It's just really messy because I'm still kind of figuring out how I want to lay stuff down and everything. forever to go through it just because um, you don't have to use a lot. It's a really thick gel. I don't want to waste any. But um, I also, it also takes me a while to get through this because I prefer, I don't put stuff on my scars every day. I, um, I'm just, I don't do skincare every day. So, which I think there's some things I probably should, but I just definitely don't do that.
I think it used to be more popular, like, um, like in the early 2010s, like, early mid 2010s, like, uh, I want to say like 2015 was like a big year for them. switch back to the antiperspirant um, deodorant um, because the gel was giving me chemical burns again um, I've said I've talked about that before um, it's I feel like every brand will do it to me at some point and I'll get chemical burns on my armpits and so then I have to switch to a different brand or just I can't wear any deodorant for a while so I switched back to the like deodorant deodorant I like the gel because it feels better when you apply it, but I just think this overall works better. And on top of working better, um, it has yet to give me any type of chemical burn. It's just so weird how that happens because like I'll be so fine using it for like, oh my God, like what the fuck are you even doing up there? I'm sorry. They do this every day. like every day um i don't i don't understand what the fuck they do up there to like make so much fucking noise like i don't and i've i've lived under people my entire life i've lived in basements and stuff and i've never lived under somebody so loud and noisy like they stomp so bad sometimes that it like makes my entire cabinets shake so all my glass was like clinking together because they're walking so hard so, I don't know. I think that's just some people think because it's daytime, they can just be loud as fuck, which is like, I try to not be like an asshole or anything. Like, I get it. People like make noise and shit, and I'm never like really mad about that, but like, they are so much louder than any neighbors we have. Like, that person just walked down the stairs to get their mail, and literally, like, I could hear every step that they took, and then, like, if they just don't give a fuck, they don't have that, like, Understanding, or I guess I don't know. They still give a fuck, which is whatever. There are people in life that they're just never gonna give a fuck. I guess. <sighs> Sorry, that's so like off topic. It's just it's annoying. Um, I have some more advanced scar scar gel uh, skin protectant. So this is from Target. Their generic brand up and up. And I think this is supposed to be compared to Mederma, if I'm not mistaken. That's them coming back up. Being a little bit more quiet. Maybe they heard me talking shit. But um, I like this pretty good. I really like the applicator. It kind of reminds me of like a Carmex. I thought this was really intuitive. Like, um, you would just use it to apply it like you don't have to use like anything else and I really like that because I don't know about you guys like if you have any scarring because I have quite a few I have scarring from my gallbladder I have scarring from my hysterectomy and then my top surgery scars and sometimes I feel kind of like <laughs> like icky touching them sometimes which is so funny because I don't get why it bothers me but sometimes I'm like, I'm like I don't want to touch these so I like that um, I think it was more just like when I first got them, they were kind of like, oh, these are big scars, it's scaring me, but now it's kind of like, it's whatever, but yeah. I don't know if this is really constitutes a skincare, but it's in my skincare, like, little organizer. I have some sensitive formula Nair, and it's the shower cream hair removal, um, and the scent is natural coconut oil vitamin E. My friend really recommended this to me, um, so I went ahead and got it. I really only shave my face, and then if I want any other body hair removed, I use Nair. I don't like shaving anywhere else because I feel like I always break myself out by shaving, or I will cut myself. Um, and I don't like doing that. I actually cut my face the other day for the first time shaving. Um, so I will use Nair or like 
body hair removal if I can. And I was using a different body hair removal, but I didn't really like it that much. I didn't like the consistency and how long it took. And, but I didn't really want to go back to Nair because I felt like every time I used Nair I got chemical burns and I didn't want to deal with that. But um, my friend was like, no, this is super good. So I tried it out and I really do like it. I think when I did Nair, I did the um, baby oil scent. So this is also a new scent to me, but it doesn't smell horrible. It still kind of has that classic Nair smell, but it's not as bad as it used to be, that's for sure. I have this athlete's foot um, cream. I was using it for my forehead because I don't know if you guys can see the texture in my forehead. You can see my dry flakes, ew. Um, but I have texture in my forehead and it is actually like I guess a yeast infection or just like excess yeast because of sweat it's gone down a lot because I'm not like doing physical labor anymore which is kind of nice so I'm not sweating as much but I still definitely have it and um, online people were saying that if you use athlete foots cream on it it will go away um, I'm gonna actually throw this out because it, it didn't work um, it didn't do anything for me and that's fine, but it did not do anything for me. Um, I have some Harry's post shave balm, some like after shave balm. I really like this stuff. It smells really good. It's like a milky gel. Let's see if I can get some. That's what it looks like. <laughs> it's really moisturizing. Um, it has aloe in it, I guess. I really like it. I don't know what the fuck she has, but she has it. And it's her. It is um, the cream shop. Featuring Hello Kitty, they'll love you so much. Uh, she mask. As you guys know, I am a big Hello Kitty guy. Um, and this is super cute. I still love matcha. It sounds so good right now. Maybe I'll make one. But um, this has matcha tea in it and alitone. Actually do this after this video. I need to use this up anyway. Plus, I know this is gonna expire soon, so I just really need to use my face masks. It's bad. It's bad. Um, again, I don't know if this really constitutes as skincare. Um, I have the milk makeup. Cush Lash and Brow Serum. I love this. You can see it's pretty well used. Um, I'm down to here. It is really expensive, but I always try and get it at TJ Maxx or Okay, that's never happened before. <coughs> Glue just I guess stopped gluing. I've never used it there actually. Probably should. Um, anyway. Um, it is pretty pricey. I think it's like 40 bucks regular price. But um, I think I've got this for like 12 bucks at TJ Maxx before. So you can definitely get a good deal on it. Um, I do think it works. Um, I do think that my lashes have gotten longer, my brows have grown more using it. But you have to be consistent, and I have not been. I forget that I have this, so I need to remember I have it and use it. And I need to start looking for a new one, because I'm about to run out. I think that's why I stopped using some of it, is because I 
it was getting low, so I didn't want to run out, and so I stopped, which is bad. Like, it's good to run out. It's good to use things up and get, like, out of that, you know what I mean, headspace. Like, use things. It's good. Um, the next thing I have are these Cure Us Advanced Healing Hydrocolloid Bandages. I got these at Dollar Tree. Um, it comes with 10. I only have two left, so I've used eight of them. I've been using them all over my nose. I didn't see it kind of breaking out. My nose, excuse me, have been seeping out oil. Excuse me, it's been so bad. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I feel like I've just gotten super oily overnight. So I've been using these bandages because I've been going through my pimple patches like crazy and pimple patches are fucking expensive. $1.25 and they're, they're big. Like this goes over my whole nose, essentially. Um, they're big. It's $1.25 for 10 of them. Good deal. I'm actually going to go to Dollar Tree today, probably get some more. Um, I did pick up some hydrocolloid bandages from Target as well. Because I think price-wise, it just makes sense to get the bandages. And if I need smaller ones, I can just cut them up. Um, but um, yeah, really good find. stuff out really well. I've used them on my nose and my chin, uh, which is probably the areas I break out the most, and they they do really good. Next thing I have is super basic, but it's some Cetaphil moisturizing lotion. the Cetaphil lotion. I probably will keep using it. I don't like how expensive it's gotten. Um, I think it's just gotten super expensive because so many dermatologists were getting paid to recommend it and so it got so popular they were able to raise their price and it was already kind of pricey anyways. I got my like office equipment delivered and she's playing in the horde of boxes and packaging that is still on my floor because there was so much and she's been enjoying it a lot so I apologize if you can hear that but this has avocado oil vitamins E, B5, and B3 and cyberallergen I do really like it for my face I use this lotion and I've also used the um, I think it's CeraVe is that CeraVe? That doesn't sound right, but I think it is. It's like the salicylic acid lotion. Um, that was recommended by a dermatologist to me as well, but I have not been able to get my hands on it. I have not been able to find that anywhere. I don't know where it's at. Um, I don't know if they stopped making it or they're just like, I don't know. I haven't been able to find it anywhere. The next thing I have is this Base Laboratories Keloid Bump Removal Gel. It says gel for keloids, piercing bumps, and scar reducing treatment, and it's 60 grams or two ounces. Um, and it has alatone, uh, aloe vera, lavender oil, um, and that's really the only things other than the water that I can recognize. But I love this stuff. Um, this is what the applicator looks like. just a clear gel. It smells so good. Um, I wouldn't say it really smells like lavender or anything, but it does smell good. And it has kind of like a menthol feeling. Like it's very like refreshing to put on. Like especially when I put on my piercing. And it totally works like for the keloiding. 
I've put it on my scarring and I do have my, my genetics are I'm just predisposed to keloiding from my scar tissue. Um, I do think it's helped, but I mean, I think this, it, it mainly just works for like piercing bumps the best. Um, oh my gosh, I didn't even realize how red I was. I'm actually surprised you can't see, maybe you can. That like bump right there, that's not even a zip. My boyfriend um, was like, we were watching TikTok and he dropped his phone on my fucking chin and he's got like a really big phone and has like a heavy case on it. And I literally have had a bump there since he dropped it, it fucking hurts. But anyway, um, this took away my piercing bump in like a week. It, it really works, I really regret it. And I got it off Amazon if my mom was taken and it was really cheap. I think it was like five, maybe four bucks. I saw plenty of product, so I really recommend this. It says keloids and scars two to three times daily for around two to six weeks for new scars and two to three months for old scars. I normally would do like once a day, um, but I felt like moisturizer just wasn't enough after I shaved and, I, and after shave was really fucking expensive. So I was looking at the shaving aisle to see what they had at Target, and this is what they had. So, um, yeah, I think it works really well. I don't feel, like, irritated as much after I shave or anything, so I do really recommend this. Um, I think it was only, like, ten bucks. The next thing I have, um, this is a sample, but I have a lot of them. This is my Good Molecule, Good, oh my god, I can't fucking say that. Good Molecules, Cools. Hydrating Facial Cleansing Gel. I got this uh, sample when I was at Sephora to get another skincare thing I'm going to show you. And it's for AM and PM. And I've made, I've used this a few times. I actually really like it. Normally for when I shave, I use cleanser to shave with. I don't use shaving cream. And so I'll use my uh, CeraVe cleanser. But I've been using these since I have them. And I really like it. They feel really good on the skin. I don't know if I'll actually buy the full size cleanser or anything, but maybe. I don't know. I think I have to use it a few more times to see if I really like it or not. Um, next is a pretty simple uh, Vaseline healing jelly all over body balm I love these jelly sticks I probably I've been through like three of them this is my third one I, I like it because you can just use it for whatever I use it for my lips I use it for my face I use it for my scars um, and I mean you can't go wrong with Vaseline honestly um, I like using it to, ugh, it's peeling, I hate that. I mainly use it if I'm like slugging, so like I'll put some serum or whatever on my face and then I'll put this over it to kind of lock it in. Um, I do that with my scars as well. Um, and sometimes if I'm just like super dry somewhere, I'll just use it too, so it's really great. scar-based shit I have, but, um, I do. I have a big thing of bio oil. I got this at TJ Maxx as well, because this can be really pricey. It's like 20-some bucks for something this size. I will say that they do last long, but, um, they're pricey. So I think I got this at, like, TJ Maxx for, like, 10 bucks, which is, like, 50% off. But this is 125 milliliters. These are, this is also super recommended by people um, in the medical industry when you're talking about scars, cellulite, stretch marks, and they do, it does work. Um, it's lightened a lot of my stretch marks. And um, this right here, that is not like a temple, it's a scar. I had stitches like that. Um, 
I crushed my face when I was really young and my mom put bio oil on it and I don't have a scar, I just have a dimple from where the stitches have it. So, I feel like I almost always have some on it and it says on here for scars, stretch marks, aging, dehydrated skin, and uneven skin tone. So, when I take baths, I actually put this in the water and mix it in. So, like, when I soak, um, and then I'll just, like, after a shower, I'll just put this all over because I have a lot of stretch marks. No shame in that game, though. Like, I, it's weird. It's like, I put them on just to kind of help with that process of lightening them. I don't really care that I have them, though. Like, they don't really, like, it's like, whatever. I don't even see, like, half of them. Anyway, most of them are like on my back or my ass, so it's like I don't even care. But it does make your skin feel really soft, so I like that about it. I just wish it didn't smell the way it did. Like it doesn't smell bad. It's the applicator, bro. It's like a toner. It doesn't smell bad, but I wouldn't say it smells like oh, it smells so good. But it's just I don't know. I don't. There's like really nothing I could compare that to. constitutes a skincare. This is by the ordinary. This is hair care. It's multi-peptide serum for hair density. Now, I don't know if you could tell. I have thin hair. And when I got my buzz cut that I wasn't expecting to be buzz cut, this was something I bought pretty fast. Um because I looked like I was balding. And I don't have the best hair genetics. My biological father receding pretty bad and both of my biological grandfathers also receded pretty bad if not bald which is funny because both of my step grandparents have full heads of hair like very well like very good genes and they're not my biological grandparents so which is so funny to me because I never knew that until like I was a little bit older I mean I guess it's kind of obvious now that they aren't my biological grandparents, but like when you're a kid, you don't think about it. But yeah, um, I got this because I didn't want to keep using um, I forget what it's called, but it's like most mono minoxidil. I think that's what it is. I don't want to keep using that. That's really harmful for animals. If you have animals, like even like a drop, they're gone. So that was a concern, and also. It doesn't promote new hair growth. It just promotes like more growth. And that's not really what I want. I want thicker hair and that's not gonna give me that. So I'm trying this out. I don't know if it's worked or not, to be honest. I haven't been consistent enough, but um, you know, I have like that amount left. So there is some other hair oil I wanna try. It's like, I don't know how to say the brand. It's like we, it's, it's just a, I don't know, it's a hair care brand. And it's like a bunch of vowels. Um, but I've heard nothing but really good things about their serum, but it's really pricey. It's like 50 some dollars. But if it works, I mean, and this is just a, a normal dropper if I can open it. started caring about like aging and like stuff like that because of my like future husband because he's gonna age really good and I'm probably like I don't think I'm gonna age horribly but I don't think I'm going to age as good as him and I'm gonna be embarrassed so I'm gonna try and take care of myself <laughs> so we can age gracefully together um it's not just me who looks like sport of milk and he looks really good for his age. Because <laughs> um, his genetics are phenomenal. Bro, we were even talking about like if he went bald, he'd probably look so good bald too. And I'm like, fuck no. I don't know if you guys know who Queso is. He's like a streamer, but I don't know if you've seen that edited picture of him bald. That's what I would look like, but worse probably. I don't like that buzz cut was too close. 
to be the for me. Um, but anyway, the next thing I have is another Cream Shop and Hello Kitty uh, collab, and this is the Ultra Soft Souls Foot Mask. It has cocoa butter and glycolic acid, and this is strawberry cream scented. It's a foot mask. I go through foot masks all the time. I know what it is, but like I have horrible calluses on my feet. I've actually thought about going to get one of those like scrapers. I don't know if you've seen these TikToks, but this there's a girl that grows like these insane calluses and like dead skin on her feet. So she has to fucking cut and scrape, like peel her um, shit off her foot. And it's really satisfying. It's kind of gross, but it's so satisfying. And honestly, I think I have to start doing that with, like, the, my heels. It's so awful. Um, because, like, sometimes, like, I'll be cuddling with um, my boyfriend and he is like, you gotta go. Because, <laughs> bad. it's horrible. It's horrible. Um, and, like, I will moisturize my feet. I scrub my feet. Um, I'll even exfoliate and, like, soak them. And it just, nothing does it. And I don't know if it's just because I had calluses on my feet when I was a kid and they just never went I don't know because um I was one of those kids you know I lived in middle fuck ass nowhere rural Ohio and you went outside in your bare feet and you just walked around so like I'm talking like to grass to gravel to asphalt to you know, whatever so um I don't know because I never had those issues when I was a kid like my feet were soft um, the next thing I have is an antifungal cream and this is tolfenate 1% so this helps with athlete's foot ringworm and itching and burning again for my forehead and also I had ringworm literally so mortifying so embarrassing because like what am I six years fucking old six years old playing in a puddle I had a ringworm on my scalp um which is I think arguably kind of even more embarrassing <laughs> but um it's gone um I found out because my mom was cutting my hair and she's like oh realistically it was because I was sweating so much at night and so it just built up to a fungal infection um which is insane because I shower at night and then in the morning because of how bad I sweat. But um, it's gone. And But yeah, I got this for topical treatment. Um, but I was on a pill because it was apparently that horrific. Literally mortifying, like I said. It's super embarrassing. But um, I'm also using it for my forehead and because I had it on my scope. But yeah, that was literally the most like humbling thing I think has ever happened to me. Um, was my mom being like, oh, this is like the worst case of ringworm I've ever seen. Okay, I'll just like kill myself. I don't know. Um, this is one of my more newer purchases. This is by MediHeal, which I've been trying to get my hands on. This is the photoenzyme uh, peeling pad, day and night, daily treatment pad that offers optimized solution for those with various skin troubles due to external environments and stress. Solve your skin concerns quickly and easily with a pad during your busy day life. So this is a toner pad. Comes with these little tweezers. these every day because it's not recommended to use them every day and this is a 60 count if I'm not mistaken but I let them like soak in on my nose and like any areas that I'm at, like breaking out really bad I really want to get the tea tree ones excuse me the tea tree one soon but they don't sell them anywhere near me i would figured their whole collection would be in ulta because they said it would but it's not there so i'll probably have to order that off amazon or online but i've been loving these 
these and they smell so good. Oh, I don't know what they smell like, but they smell phenomenal. I love the smell of them. And I do think that they work. They've been helping me get control of this nose breakout. Um, the next thing I have is this Mederma PM Intensive Overnight Scar Cream. I go through Mederma like crazy. Um, this was another big like recommendation for my surgeons for scars. I do think it works well. I hate the smell. It smells like the worst sunscreen you've ever smelled in your entire life. And if you've used Mederma, you know what I'm talking about. I'm not like a huge fan of sunscreen smell, but this shit is, ugh. I hate the smell. I have to put it on and like put my shirt back on so fast. I hate it. Oh, and when, if you ever start using any of the other stuff I've showed you for scarring, be careful putting clothes on, like wear a bed shirt or like a tank top or something that you don't really care about. Um, Cause it will seep into your clothes. I don't think the Mederma will do that. Definitely the bio oil. Um, I think you'll be fine with the Stratoderm as well. But like, just be careful um, if you don't want to ruin your clothes. Like, let it dry down or just wear something you don't care about. Alrighty, last thing. The last thing I have is this glowing serum. Um, I don't really, I don't think the brand is on here. Um, and it has niacin side, 5% and rice bran. I got this at TJ Maxx and it was made in Korea. Oh, the, I think the brand is Goshen Korea. I don't know if I'm saying that right. There's a website. I really like the applicator, like the, but that's kind of neat looking. This is frosted glass. I like the lid noise that it makes. I do really like this. I haven't been using it a lot recently just because I haven't been doing skincare recently, but I do like this a lot. And if I can find it again, I'll probably repurchase it. I think that's the sucky thing with some Korean brands that come through TJ Maxx. It's like, I'm never gonna see this bitch again. And that is very sad to me. <laughs> but yeah, that's all my skincare and my little organizer. I do have like this milk makeup, uh, some, sunshine tint in here but that's not really skincare but yeah this is my little organizer that I keep in my bathroom for my skincare but yeah I hope you guys enjoy just want to do a quick little video I'm gonna do a few more probably today um because I'm actually motivated to film but yeah I love you guys I hope that you found this relaxing and I hope that you sleep 